All right, on this episode of my trip to Oahu, I check out a very large Buddhist temple on the island of Oahu. After the temple, I went to get some poke at my friend James's favorite place, which is inside of a liquor store. Okay, so me and Salika are at the Green World Coffee Farm, and look at all their cool little uh, coffee pictures they have. Wow, lots of coffee pictures. We need to get one of these coffee sacks to bring home. How cool would that be, huh? And here is the Green World Coffee Farm on this rainy day. You can see that they have loads of coffee. It just keeps going, all these different coffee trees. Okay, so me and Suleika are visiting the Dole Plantation, checking out all their little gifts and souvenirs. They have lots of pineapple-shaped things. Babe, look, you could get a neck rust for the, for the plane, and it's a pineapple. Look at that big pineapple. Me and Suleika are at the Dole Plantation. Suleika is enjoying her Dole Whip. Isn't it great? And we are right in front of the choo-choo train here. That brings you over to the actual pineapple plantation and there's all kinds of exotic tropical fruits like the cacao tree here which makes chocolate as you can see there and there's a couple other exotic trees over there this looks really cool oh and there's chickens can't forget about all the chickies easily the best part of our hawaiian trip we went to the dole plantation and found snails there's snails at the dole plantation look at this one you can see his little eyeball it's a snail Eating some good Filipino food in Hawaii. We've got some pork rinds. I think they call it lechon. And then they have uh, beef stew and they have their panset, which is their noodles. The cheapest beer I've found so far in Oahu is Kirin Ichiban. It is less than a dollar a beer, if you can believe that. Bud and Bud Light was more expensive. And here it is, the famous Spam with the different flavors garlic and teriyaki that's what i'm gonna have to get only in hawaii could you get a whole canned chicken that's right people for 5.69 you can get a whole canned chicken fully cooked oh sweet sue sweet sweet sue more asian snacks we've got mochi we got hello panda and we got turtle chips you can't leave the store without turtle chips all right me and Suleika are gonna go to itchy butt today and get some fried chicken Chicken and Joy, that's what we're getting. Not just chicken, but chicken and Joy. They have some really good Korean style fried chicken, supposedly. That's what I've heard. After eating some delicious itchy butt, we got to see some more snails. Here he is, guys. Gary the snail, the Hawaiian snail, Gary, crossing the road. And here goes to like a hiking up pillbox. She's a champ. She's doing it. She's making it. We're actually mostly at the top. There's the pillbox right there. At the top of pillbox hike, there's another pillbox. Here's the pillbox on the pillbox trail. Here's the inside. As you can see from here, it has two swiveling somethings. They closed it off so you can't go in. You'd have to crawl inside this little, this tiny little thing here. And you could go inside. Look at that. Pretty serious uh, concrete. One really cool thing about the 7-Eleven here in Hawaii is that you can get masubi right here at the 7-Eleven. You have salmon masubis, you have some different kinds of rolls, you've got a teriyaki one, you've got a breakfast one that has egg, and they're stupid cheap. $1.69 teriyaki sushi, teriyaki spam I should say. Yum yum. Yum yum yum. Pineapple macadamia nut cheesecake. Mm -mm. Here's an even bigger snail than Gary. We just found this is Gary Zilla. Gary Zilla. Hello, little gecko friend. Would you like to sell me car insurance? You so pretty. Wow. You gorgeous. It's our friend, the peacock from Florida. He came all the way from Homestead to Hawaii. Oh, 
hope you all liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. Thanks.